this is Vaishnavi from Edureka and I welcome you all to this interesting session on linked list versus array list in Java. But before we get started, let's take a quick look at the agenda for today. So we are going to be beginning with understanding what exactly is a linked list in Java, followed by which we'll understand what is an array list, followed by which we'll be taking a look at the similarities between a linked list and the array list. And finally, we'll wrap up this session by taking a look at the differences between these two. All right. So I hope the agenda was clear to you guys and I also suggest you to subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel to never miss out an update on the trending technologies and kickstart your learning with Edureka now. So let's get started. So most of the programmers out there would be confused to know when to use an array list when to use a linked list. And what are the major differences between them so that you could understand when exactly you can use these both in a proper format. So this video will help you learn when to use a linked list and when to use an array list. All right. So let's begin by understanding what is a linked list. A linked list is a linear data structure with the collection of multiple nodes where each element stores its own data and a pointer to the location of the next element. So the last line in the linked list points to null indicating that it is the end of the chain and an element in the linked list is referred as a node. The first node is called a head and also the last node of the linked list is called a tail. All right. So to give you guys a better understanding of what exactly is a linked list, I would like to give an example. So imagine a chain of paper clips that are linked together. You can easily add another paper clip to the bottom or at the top. And also it is very easy to insert one in the middle of the list. All you have to do is just break the chain at the middle, add a new paper clip and then reconnect the other half. So this constitutes a list. Now, as I mentioned, these are paper clips which are attached to each other. This constitutes a linked list. So this is very similar to the working of a linked list in Java. So this is about the linked list in Java. I would also like to talk about the different types of linked lists available. They namely singly linked list which is unidirectional followed by which we have a doubly linked list which is bidirectional and also we have circular linked list which follows a circular format for connecting one node to the other. Right. So these are the different types of linked lists available. Now talking about the major features of this linked list, you'll find a lot of important properties of the class linked list. I've noted on a few of them here. So just quickly make a note of this guys. A linked list class implements queue and DQ interfaces. So therefore you can use it for a queue or a stack or a DQ. So this is very important if you're working with the data structures and if you want to work particularly with the stack, you need to use the list which contains only the stack details. That is, for example, array list. So you can use arrays in case if you're working with stacks. But when you use linked lists, you can use it for a queue, DQ, or a stack. And also, it contains all the elements, including the duplicates and the null values. Linked list also maintains insertion order of the elements, and also it is not synchronized. Okay, so these are the major features of linked list. Now let's discuss about the array list in Java. Well, we all know that arrays are an important data structure in Java, which can be used to store static data. But what if your data needs to be stored dynamically? In order to do this, a Java offers you a special collection frameworks called array list. Okay, so this is specifically meant to store dynamic data. So let me give you a proper introduction to this array list. Array list is an implementation of the list interface where the elements can be dynamically added or removed from the list. Also, the size of the list is increased dynamically if the elements are added more than the initial size. That is, if in case I provide the size of the array to be 5 and I add elements which increase the size of this, say for example, if I add 6 or 7 elements. So the size of this array increases dynamically with the increasing number of elements and also though it might be slower when it is compared to the standard arrays, it can be helpful in programs where there is a lot of manipulation in the array. So this is exactly how array list looks like. Also, why exactly do we need to use this array list? You might have this question. 
why should you go for array list? All it does is store dynamically sized collection of elements. So why exactly do we have to go? Like I mentioned uh, this array list in Java is used to store a dynamically sized collection of elements and also this is initialized to a size. However, the size can increase if the collection goes and it can also shrink it if the objects are removed from the collection. So this is another advantage because it is very flexible guys. You can add as many number of elements you want. You can also delete those elements if and when it is required. And also Java array list allows us to randomly access the list. Like I mentioned you can add wherever you want. You can add the element in the beginning. You can add the element at the end. You can remove the element from the middle and so many other operations. So you can access the list in however way you want. All right. So this is a proper introduction to array list in Java. Now let's move ahead and take a look at the similarities between this array list and linked list. So these are some notable similarities which I figured out when I was working with linked list and array list in Java. So array list and linked list are the implementation of the list interface. This point I actually mentioned in the beginning guys. So these both come under the implementation of the list interface. And also both array list and linked list maintain the insertion order of the elements. This means that while displaying the list elements the result set would be having the same number in which the elements got inserted into the list. So this holds the actual number of insertions that has taken place and also it will keep track of what comes next. So this maintains an orderly arrangement of the list. And also these array list and linked list classes are non synchronized and can be made synchronized explicitly by using collections synchronized list method. So this method is useful if you want to synchronize the actions or behavior of the linked list and the array list. And also the iterator and the list iterator returned by these classes are fail fast. Now what is a fail fast? As the name suggests if the list is structurally modified at any given time after the iterator is created except the iterators remove or add methods the iterator will throw a continue modification exception. Okay, so this is a concept of fail fast. So these are the major similarities which I pointed out when I was working on linked list and array list. Now talking about the major differences between the linked list and the array list. Often programmers would get confused between array list properties and linked list properties. Even though both of them implement the list interface they have different semantics which will definitely affect the decision of which one to use. So let's start comparing linked list and array list. So I'll be comparing them based on these parameters. So first I'll be comparing them based on the operation that takes place followed by which we'll talk about the implementation process and also we'll take a look at the processing of linked list and array list and finally we'll compare them based on the memory usage. All right. So let's begin comparing linked list and array list. So when you compare linked list and array list based on the operation the insertion addition and removal operations of any item is faster in a linked list because you don't need to resize as you do it in an array list. Whereas in an array list uh, the operations are quite slow when you compare it to the linked list. Next up we have the implementation process. When talking about the implementation process of uh, the linked list linked list is based on doubly linked list implementation. Okay, like I mentioned the different types of linked list that are available that is singly linked list doubly linked list and a circular linked list. Okay, so this implementation process of linked list is based on doubly linked list whereas array list is based on the concept of dynamically resizable array. So this means that you can add or remove any element from the array whenever or wherever you want. Now we're comparing them based on their process. A linked list class can be used as a list and a queue because it implements list and queue interfaces. Whereas an array list can implement only the list interfaces. So this is another major difference between a linked list and an array list where a linked list holds an upper hand over here because linked list can implement a list as well as a queue interface whereas an array list can only implement a list interface. All right now talking about the memory usage. 
okay so a linked list consumes more memory when you compare it to an array list so this is because every node in a linked list stores two references whereas an array list holds only data and its index so this is the reason why memory consumption in a linked list is quite high when it is compared to array list okay so this is how you compare linked list versus array list i hope you guys could figure out what are the major differences and similarities between linked list and an array list so that's it folks this brings us to the end of uh, this video on linked list versus array list so i hope you guys are clear with everything that has been discussed in this video and if you have any queries or doubts related to any topics that has been discussed in this session feel free to reach out to us in our comment section below just put up your question over there we'll reply to you at the earliest and uh, we'll get back to you in our next session thank you for watching this video happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning